What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about whether or not you have to track calories and vegetables. It is a question that I have been asked and I actually saw an answer to it on Instagram, which I wasn't too happy with. So I'm going to make my own video about it. I don't know my Instagram post page posted it. So who cares? If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Marmina Exercise and Nutrition or at Mr. Marmina. We can see me doing a bunch of unfitness related things like smoking and drinking. Jokes or not. So do you have to track them? It depends. The more calories you have to play around with, the less likely you are to track your vegetables. What are your goals and are you competitive? So if you're a competitive athlete, like physique wise, then the closer you get to your competition, the less calories you're gonna to have to play around with and eat, so the more likely you're gonna to be to track your vegetables. What are your goals? Are they very like, how lean do you wanna get in other words? So if you're not competitive, but you just wanna get super lean, the less calories you have to play around with, the more likely you're going to be to track your vegetables. And yes, just like every other fitness answer on the planet, it depends. I personally don't track my vegetables because I can't be stuffed. And there is, a, and that's, it, that might wanna, that's so lazy, he's lazy. He's meant to be a personal trainer, but that's lazy. It's not lazy, it's just something that I don't want to do. Uh, I do not want to prioritize, or I don't wanna allocate more stress to my diet when I have a small business to run, clients to train, programs to write, um, friggin' bills to pay. I just don't wanna do it. It's something that if I can, it's like thinking about putting pennies in a money box or whatever. Like you wanna, you wanna put as much money aside as you can. That's your stress, like that's your allocated stress so that you got like more stress reserve to play around with. Let's say something happens, like the last thing I wanna do is blow my diet way out of proportion just because life got way too stressful. And that happens, think about it. Let's say something goes terribly wrong in your life. One of the first things to go is your fitness and nutrition. So you have to make these things adherable, which is totally not a word, but I totally made it up. But long term, and you have to really think like if anything happens, can I maintain this? So let's look at the pros and cons of counting your vegetables. Pros, it's way more accurate. Well, not way more. And you have to understand that like you're never gonna be in total control of your energy intake and expenditure. It's always gonna be random and maintenance is never a static figure. So how are you going to know? And I totally stole that quote from Eric Helms way back in like 2013 or 2012. So take no credit for that one. A con is that, like I've been saying, there's more effort for a very small amount of calories. Like it's, it's a minute amount of calories in vegetables, but it also depends on what kind of vegetables. So if you're eating like starches, like potatoes and all that stuff, you should probably track them. Like there was a stage where I was tracking like potatoes, onions, onions, yeah, I know, onions is like really, eh, uh, and carrots and peas and corn and stuff like that. I was tracking that and then everything else I was like, um, there was a stage where I was tracking all my vegetables and now I don't track any of my vegetables as I mentioned previously. However, let's look at this behaviorally without sort of getting into the objective, uh, like the objectiveness of counting calories. An increased vegetable intake tends to mean a decreased energy intake in general. Vegetables leave us feeling pretty full and they don't have many calories in them. So there's a high amount of food volume for a low amount of calories which is what I would be pushing someone to eat if they were trying to lose weight. I hope you guys found that video informative and you watched it on the toilet, on YouTube, Pornhub, Facebook, or Instagram. See you in the next one. TTFN, ta-ta for now.